Hey, hi there. This is, <laughs> you know who this is. This is, <laughs> this is Tom DeBeer Whisper sitting in his chair. I'm usually standing up in the kitchen when I, when I do videos, but uh, I thought I'd just do this one sitting down. And oddly enough, I'm not drinking a beer. Um, I want to talk about something different. Um, most of you that know me know that our son. Uh, Seamus was diagnosed with leukemia early in the year. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny how men and uh, women's brains work differently. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, uh, you can see a situation differently and both still be right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Uh, you know, I always say Seamus was diagnosed on February 13th. Uh, and my wife always says February 14th. And, and here's why. And here's why we're both right. Um. The doctors actually thought, and I'm going to detail the story later. I thought I'd, I decided I wanted to start doing uh, some videos uh, on this uh, about five minutes at a time. Five. Um, but anyway, let, let me finish that and I'll get around back to that because sometimes I drift like I just did. <laughs> anyway, the doctor suspected uh, on the 13th. They said they were 80% sure and had him on an ambulance up to St. Louis on the 13th in a snowstorm. Uh, so for me, you know, I mean, the man brain, 80% is, you know, <laughs> confirmation for me. But it was actually confirmed the next day by the doctors up there. So that's why my wife says the 14th. So I would say technically we're both right. But then my brain says the 13th because that's when the ball started rolling for my wife. is the 14th because that's when it was confirmed in her mind. So anyway, um, da 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 uh, yeah, people ask me, or people have mentioned when this first happened, said you should chronicle this on video. Uh, and the truth is, I couldn't. You know, I mean, it was it was too hard to talk about. I mean, it was hard enough to talk about it with just a wife or close friends and family at the time without just completely breaking down. So I, I didn't. Uh, when I started doing uh, beer videos again about a month or so later, I'd mention bits and pieces, but just, you know, just, just the, the bits and pieces that I could talk about because even today, you know, this many months later uh, yeah here we are in, in uh, August and uh, it's still hard to talk about so why am I talking about it today well I don't know and I don't even know if anybody's gonna watch it to be honest with you and, and here's the thing here's here's the great thing about this this is you know you know for it's the same reason I do the beer videos it's it's video therapy you know I don't necessarily need a, a shrink to listen to me and you know ask me stupid questions uh, sometimes it just helps just to get it out you know <laughs> I come from that 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 old school I guess where where you don't need a therapist, all you need is a stiff drink and a good bartender. You know? <laughs> That's how I see it. Or or you know, in case of today, I like a good craft beer, so a good craft beer and a and a good friend to drink one with, and and that's really the therapy you need. But I decided I'd try to do these uh, uh, about five minutes at a time, and I don't even know if I'm going to go in order. I want to talk about just the things I can talk about. And if nobody watches it, cool. If uh, you know, few of you want, are interested in our story, that that's great too. Uh, um, uh, wow. <laughs> da, 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 da. I do tend to ramble. Somebody mentioned that. Tom, you tend to ramble. Yes, I do. Well, that's kind of my shtick, I guess. That's my style. You know, sometimes my mind goes uh, in a hundred different places at the same time. And, and and you notice, I you know, even when I talk about tough situations, I tend to, to, to try to find some humor in it, which <laughs> is my coping mechanism, because I think if I could, if I had to go 24 hours without trying to make a joke about something, my head would just go... Pfft. Or or that little microchip in there would finally snap, you know. I, I, <laughs> I tell people this is the reason why I've never learned, or, or I've never owned a gun, or never learned to use one because I'm afraid someday I would snap, <laughs> and, and, and you know, uh, go on and go on an idiot hunt, and start hunting morons everywhere. But anyway, I'm just kidding. Don't send an FBI agent to my door. I don't own a gun. I'd never shoot anybody. It was just a joke, people. Again, my coping. <laughs> So anyway, um, this is kind of the introduction, inter, inter, intro, introduction to what I want to talk about. Uh, uh, you know, as far as um, myself, my wife, and Seamus having leukemia. It's time to be a and I'm going to shut this one down. I'll be back and talk to you about it more if you're interested.